Breaking news out of Warren County is a flower shop is burning right now in downtown Franklin. Yeah, this is extensive. It's in the 400 block of South Main Street, where first flames hit the flower shop. Now smoke is filling the sky. We're going to go to Jordan Burgess Live now for the latest on this breaking news story. Well, right now, firefighters continue to pour down gallons and gallons of water onto what was the Fitzgerald flower shop here on Main Street in Franklin. Firefighters seem to have the flames more under control than they did just about half an hour ago, but you can still see all that smoke pouring off the building and filling the town of Franklin. Now, at this point, firefighters tell us that they have been able to protect that building that's next door, that neither one of them, either the VFW post or the building to the left, have caught fire at this point. So firefighters say that's pretty good. They are still trying to contain the fire to the flower shop, but the damage to it is pretty severe. If you take a look at some of the video we shot earlier, you can see just those flames that engulfed the top floor of that building. Now, there were three people inside, we're told, but they all did make it out okay just in the nick of time, though. Now, those residents we talked to said that they saw some light smoke in the building at first, and one man talked about how he was able to make it out. Landlord said uh, he smelled smoke, and I thought I was dreaming. I thought I smelled smoke too, but I thought I was just dreaming. He said, "This is no joke. Got to get out." And it wasn't two minutes later. A cop said, "Grab your stuff. Get out now." And right now, as that smoke continues to pour off the roof, those residents who live there can only watch as their possessions go up in flames. They tell us they weren't able to get anything out. That they didn't really have time to be able to grab anything. At this point, though, the Red Cross is on the scene trying to help those victims. Of course, the flower shop heavily damaged. Now, as far as the cause, firefighters still investigating, but residents tell us they think that it might be electrical. But we'll bring you that news throughout the morning as the day goes along. But for now, reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.